Waheguru ji ka khalsa Waheguru ji ki fateh Hukmnama sahib today is by Satguru Ramdas ji in Suhi Rag on Ang 731 of Sri Guru Granth Sahib ji Waheguru ji Suhi Mahalla Chautha Hare Hare Naam Pajyo Pur Khotam Sap bin se dal da dal ka Pao janam marana meteo gur sabdi Hare asthir sev sukh samka Hare hare naam pajyo pur khotam Sap bin se dal da dal ka Pao janam marana meteo gur sabdi हारे आस्थेर सेव सोख समका मेरे मान पाज राम नाम अत पिरका मैं मान तान अरप तर्यो गुर आगे सेर वेच लियो मुल महकार हाओ नारपत राजे रांग रस मान है बिन नावे पकड़ खड़े सब कल का तारम राए सिर डांड लगाना फिर पछताने हाथ फल का हारे राख राख जान किरमत मारे सरनागत पुरख प्रत पल का दर्शन सांत देहो सुख पावे प्रप लोच पूर जन तुम का तोम समराथ पुरख वड़े प्रब स्वामी मुकाओ की जैदान हर निम का जन नानक नाम मिले सुख पावे हम नाम विट हो सद कुम का तोम समराथ पुरख वड़े प्रब स्वामी मुकाओ की जैदान हर निम का जन नानक नाम मिले सुख पावे हम नाम विट हो सद कुम का सात गुर राम दाहजी महाराज ब्लेसिंग असिन सुही राग सात गुर महाराज सैब जी बिगिन्ज शबत हर हर नाम पर जो पुर खोतम सब बिन से दालद दल का सात गुर जी से दोस हु हैव पर जो हु हैव मेडिटेटेड अपॉन the name of Hari or Vaheguru who Hari nourishes all and who Har takes away and destroys all of the pains and sins of all. Purakotam. That Vaheguru who is the most Uttam, the highest of all Puruk of all beings. That being who is pervading through all. And that Gurmukh Piyara Hupajyo who has meditated upon Hari upon Vaheguru becomes Purakotam, becomes the highest of all beings, merges in with that Akal Puruk. Reaches that stage of Brahma Gyani Aap Parmesar. Merging in with that limitless Vaheguru. Sab bin se dalad dalaka. Those who have meditated upon a Vaheguru. Sab all of their. Bin se means to be destroyed. Dalad means all of the laziness. Dalad can mean that as well. It can mean when we're putting off meditating and when we're not thinking about Vaheguruji, when we think, oh, we won't do Nitanim today, we'll do it tomorrow, or I'll go to the Gurdwara tomorrow, putting it off, that can mean Dalad. The Dalad can also mean the poverty, spiritual poverty. Not talking about who doesn't have a few pounds or a few dollars or a few rupees in their pockets, but that person is truly a pauper who doesn't have the name of God within their heart. Sadhguru Maharaj says that that person who has the worldly wealth, Guruji tells us, Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Kacha Tan Sancha Hai Murakh Gawar. The only, the fools think they are wealthy if they have a lot of money, if they have a lot of dollars or rupees or pounds. Truly the wealth is, is of God's name. Guru is not saying that the worldly wealth you shouldn't have, have it, but remember that the true wealth is of God's name. Dalaka. Dalaka means to be. Dalana means to wrestle. They have wrestled this inner laziness, this inertia. They have taken away this dalad, this spiritual poverty. 
And Dal Aga, if we separate it in two halves, Dal means army, Aga means of sins. Binase, their inertia, their spiritual poverty, and the army of sins which they had collected together through many countless lifetimes have all been Binase destroyed. Only through the Guru Sabdi, the Guru's Shabbat, the Guru's words, the Guru's Mat, the Guru's wisdom can meteo, can be destroyed. Our Janama Marana, our birth and death, and Pa, the fear of birth and death, the pain of birth and death which afflicts us again and again, that can only be taken away by attaching ourselves to the Guru Shabbat. Har Asthir, because Hari, that Wahiguru, is Asthir, is never moving, is not changed. Completely unmoving, completely stable. If you want complete stability in your life, meditate upon the Guru Shabbat and the Guru Shabbat will connect you to that Wahiguru who is completely stable. And by save, by serving that Wahiguru, that Lord God, Sokha Samaka, you will merge into. Samaka means to be merged into. Your life will merge into Sokha, into complete happiness, into inner, inner spiritual peace. Mere man, oh my mind, Paj Ram Naam At Pirka. Paj, meditate upon Ram Naam, the name of that Lord. At Pirka. Pirka means of that Vaheguru who is my beloved. At means the most. That Vaheguru ji who is the most beloved, meditate upon his name. Ma man tan arbatar yo gur aga. I have given my man, my mind, and my tan, my body. Arp, sacrifice them. Taryo, and I've placed them where? Aga, in front of the Guru. What does that mean? Or does it mean to keep your body forever in front of the Guru? No. What it means is this. Is to understand that Guru is with you at all times and that your hands, your feet, your mind, your body, your soul belongs to the Guru. And with these hands and feet to be continually walking upon the Guru's path. To be continually using these hands and feet, this body and this mind to walk upon the Guru's path, to serve the Guru. Ser vechliyo mul mahka. Mahka means expensive price. Mul means price. Vechliyo means to sell. Ser means my head. I've sold my head at the most expensive price. Mul mahka. Now there was a Sikh in the time of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj called Pai Manga. And when he came to the Guru's Darbar, the Guru's court, Guru Amar Das Ji said, What's your name? And Pai Sab said, Manga. And Guru Amar Das Ji said, Sikhi is also Mengi. Sikhi is also expensive. If your name is expensive by Menga, then Sikhi is also expensive. Sikhi is also very dear. And he said, I have come Guruji to your protection in order to, to gain Sikhi. I'm happy to gain it at an expensive price, at a dear price. And what happened one day at Goendwal Sahib, Jor came, thieves came. And on that morning, the Guru had, in the very early hours, sent out by Menga in the Amrit Villa, in the hours of 1 a.m., 2 a.m., in those times, the Guru had sent by Menga out to perform a service, to perform some sort of seva in the woods around Goendwal Sahib. And the thieves saw that there is some man in, in the woods and he has seen us. He could tell the others, he could be a witness to our crime. And they decided, we won't kill him, but we'll dig a hole in the ground and we'll bury him up to his head. So just only his head is above the earth. And they did this. And when they tried to steal from Goindwal Saab, at 2 a.m. they saw at Amrathwila all of the Sikhs getting up doing a shanan. Bathing and meditating. Someone was meditating. Someone was picking up dust. Dusting out the chadra, the sheets for the gurdwara. Someone was getting the langar prepared. There was always something going on. And seeing all of this, they thought of their sins. And they were found by the Sikhs and they were brought in front of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. And they said, Maharaj, they fell to the feet of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj and they said, we were about to try and steal from this 
city, but we realize that this is the city of God. Look at the angelic beings that live here. Getting up in the morning, meditating. We fall to your feet, please forgive us. And they said, we have committed a great sin. Guru Sahib Ji said, what? What is the sin? And they said, we have buried one of your Sikhs up to his head in the jungle. And Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj ran. They ran to buy Menga themselves and they themselves started digging Pai Menga out with the other Sikhs. And when Pai Menga was taken out of the hole, Sadhguru Amar Das Ji Maharaj said, Oh Menga, these thieves, these robbers, they have committed a great sin against you. What do you say we do to them? And Pai Menga put his hands together and said, Guru Sahib Ji, please best bless them with so much wealth in this world that they'll never think of stealing again. And Guru Amar Daji said, but they have stolen from, they have tried to steal from us here and they have buried you up to your head. Do you not want to ask for anything else? And Pai Mengaji said, Guruji, if you ask me to ask for one other thing, I ask that even in the next world, in this world and the next world, that they be blessed with spiritual knowledge. So that materially, with money, and they have the money of this world, and they have the true wealth of the next world, that they gain your name, and that you look after them, and that they become yours. And Guru Amar Daji Maharaj pulled Pai Menga into their embrace, and they said, Mengea, even though Sikhi was Mengi, even though Sikhi was expensive, you have bought it at the expensive price. And Pai Mani Singh Ji, when they're about to give Shahidi, when they're about to give sacrifice of themselves, when they're about to be cut into bits by the government of the time, they said, Tan Gandhi ki kothari harhiriya ki khan Je tan dittya har mile sopi sasta jaan Pai Mani Singh Ji said that Tan Gandhi ki kothari, this tan, this body, is simply a kothari, is simply a house made out of Gandhi, made out of dirt. Harihiriya ki khan, Waheguru, is a treasure of all treasures. Je tan dittya har mila, even if by sacrificing my body, I will be merged in with Akal Purk, with Waheguru, with the Lord God. So pi sasta jaan. Even that is cheap to me. So Gurmukh Piyario, Sir Vech Liyomul Mahga, like a Pai Menga, gave everything to the Guru, fell into the Guru's embrace. So Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj is saying, I have given my head to the Guru. Rahao, pause and think about this. Narpat Raje Rangaras Manaha, Bin Nava. Bin, without the Nav, without the name of Akal Puruk, Narpat, the rulers of kings, Raje, emperors. Rang Ras They indulge in the Rang and Ras, the pleasures of the world. Bin Nave, but they do not have the name of the Lord. And what happens without the name of the Lord? They may have all of the pleasures of the world, but they do not have the ultimate pleasure of God's name. And Kare, they are grabbed hold of. They are seized. Sab, and all of them are Kalga. Kalga means in this dark age of Kaljug. They are full of aga, full of sins, and they are kal, also means to be blackened. They are blackened by their sins. And kalga means those who carry weapons, the jamduts, the angels of death, kare, seize all of them. Taramrai siri dandalagana, taramrai, and the judge of taram, the judge of righteousness. Taramraja, on their sir, on their heads, dandalagana. Lagana means to beat down with a dand. With his staff, with his stick, he beats down upon them. Where does he beat them into? Where do they go into reincarnation, the cycles of birth and death again and again? And then they pashtane, then they regret hatapalga when on their hands, when they have received in their hands the fal aga, the fal of their aga, of their sins, when they receive the fruit of their actions, of their sins, then they cry out in pain. Har raak raak jan kirm tumare. O Vaheguru ji, O Guru Sahib ji, raak raak, O Hari, O Vaheguru, O Lord God, please raak, please save me in this world. Please raak, please save me in the next world. Jan kirm tumare. I am a kirm. 
I am the tiniest, most humble servant of your jan, of your of your humble servants. Saranagat, I've agat, I've come into your saran into your protection. Purk pratipalaga, o purk, o being, who is pratipalaga, who is the nourisher and the protector. Wahiguru, I've entered into your protection. Darsan Santa Deho Sukapave, give me the darshan, give me the company, the blessed vision of your sant, of those who meditate upon you. Deho, give me that Sukapave, that is the path of peace. As Guru Sahib Ji says in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Kathariya Santa Te Sukhaupandiya. The stories of the saints are the paths of peace. Prabh Loj Poor Jan Tumaka. Prabh, O Vaheguru, please poor, please fulfill this Loj, this wish of mine. I am your Jan, I am your servant. Tumaka means yours. Tum Samrat Vaheguru, you are all knowing. Purk Vade, the greatest Purk, the greatest being, Prabh, my Lord, Swami, Master. Moko ki jai daan har nimka. Oh Vaheguru ji, please ki jai, please bless me with this daan, this gift of nimka. Nimka means the tiniest amount, even one drop of your immortal nectar of your name. And nimka also means humility. Bless me with the gift of humility, true humility. Jan nanak naam mila sukh paave. Servant, Satguru Maharaj Sahib ji says, Satguru Ram Das Maharaj ji says that the servant, your jan, when your jan is blessed, when your servant is blessed with naam, with the name of the Lord, Sukhapava, then eternal peace is found. Ham naam vitho sad kumka. I am kumka, forever a sacrifice, vitho, to your naam, to, the, to your name, O Vaheguru. O Satguru Sahib Ji, please bless me with the name. I am always a sacrifice to that immortal name of the Lord. Toma Samaratha Purukhava De Prabhaswami. Mokao ki jai daan har nimka, jan nanak naam mila sokh paave, ham naam vit ho sad kumka, vahe guru ji ka khalsa, vahe guru ji ki fateh.